we use factor by grouping whenever we want to factor a polynomial expression with four terms. Let's see how it works. Here is our first example, 4x squared plus 8x minus 5x minus 10. I have four terms in this expression. I want to factor this. So the first thing I need to do is to group terms with a common factor. So if you look at the first and second term, I have x in common and also between the numbers, I have four in common. So first term and second term, I can group them together because they have something in common. Second, uh, I mean, the second group, negative five x and negative 10, they have five in common, say, so I can group those two together. So let's do that. I group the first two terms, 4x squared plus 8x. And uh, keep that in mind, we have to separate these two groups with the addition sign between them. So the second group is negative 5x minus 10. So my first group, my second group, that's eight. <clears throat> now we focus on a group at a time. Focus on the first group. I want to factor out the greatest common factor between these two terms. So the greatest common factor here is 4x. So factor that out. I factor out the 4x. 4x squared over 4x, I'll be left with x. 8x over 4x, I'll be left with 2. So now I'll move on to the second group. The second group, so I keep that in mind, we have to factor uh, factor this in a way we will end up with the same expression inside the bracket because I need that for my next step. So what should I factor out here? I can factor out a negative five. If I factor out a negative five, negative five x over negative five, I'll be left with x, negative 10 over negative five, that's just positive two. So I have the exact same expression inside this bracket. And now I have this one, this term and this. I need to find a greatest common factor between these two, which is x plus two. So x plus two is my greatest common factor. I factor that out. x plus two, factor that out. So the first one divided by x plus two, x plus two, x plus two, they cancel. I'll be left with four x. And this plus minus five, that is just minus five, as you know plus minus, that's just minus five. So negative five times x plus two divided by x plus two, x plus two and x plus two, they cancel, I'll be left with negative five. This is my answer. x plus two bracket four x minus five. This is the factored form of this expression. That's how we factor by grouping. Let's do another example. Let's take a look at this one. Nine x squared plus 15 x plus three x plus five. Again, I have a, a polynomial expression with four terms. I have four terms here. So the first thing we need to do is to group terms with a common factor. Look at the first and second term. They have x in common and they also have three in common, but you have to pay attention. The second two terms should have something in common as well, but here three x and five, they do not have anything in common. So I cannot just group these two together and these two together that these two have nothing in common, so I can't do that. So I have to group them in a way, each group has something in common. So I can group this nine x squared and three x together, and then I can group this five and this 15 x together, because nine x squared and three x, they have a common factor, three x, 15 x and five, they have a common factor, which is five. So let's do that. So I group, uh, 9x squared and 3x together. Don't forget the plus sign. And I group these two together, 15x plus 5. So focus on the first group. What is the greatest common factor here? The greatest common factor between 9x squared and 3x is 3x. Factor that out. 9x squared over 3x. I'll be left with 3x. 3x over 3x, that's just positive 1. That's first group. Move on to the second group. The second group, 15x plus 5, I factor out a 5, I'll be left with 3x, 5 over 5 is just 1, so 3x plus 1, I have the exact same expression inside the bracket, and now I can't factor that out. Between this 
and this term, 3x plus 1 is the greatest common factor. I factor that out, 3x plus 1, and bracket. The first one divided by 3x plus 1, I'll be left with 3x. The second one divided by 3x plus 1, I'll be left with plus 5. This is our answer. That's how we factor a polynomial expression with four terms using factor by grouping method. That's all. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you.